Hello everyone, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be practicing speaking about our plans for the new year for 2013. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. Hi, yeah. Carlos, you're back. Yeah. Couldn't I sleep. I, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I miss you too. I Glad you're back. I have insomnia. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, welcome, guys. My name's Joe. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, from the United States. Today, um, <clears throat> we're going to be practicing speaking about our plans for 2013. So, before we get started, I'd like everybody to introduce themselves by saying your name, um, your country, and your mode of transportation for like wherever you go like if you walk everywhere um, if you take the bus if you ride your bike or if you drive so um, Rasal's leaving bye Rasal um, thanks for coming um, so for me my name's Joe I'm from the United States like I said and my my main mode of transportation is my car I drive, oh, drive. I, have to, I drive everywhere yeah uh-huh so we'll start with Amin, the very left. Yes, my name is Amin from Saudi Arabia, and my main trans my main trans transportation is my skates. Your roller skates, skate. like roller, roller skates. Ah, yeah. roller blades, roller skates. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Okay, all right. Glad you're here again, uh, Boris. Nice to see you again. Hi. Uh, well, my name is Boris. I am from Ecuador. Uh, my main mode of, tr of transportation is the bus. The <laughs> bus. bus. Yeah. It's not. It's not my bus. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Brenda. Yes. Uh, my name is Brenda. I'm from Argentina, and my mode of transportation is my bike, and I also by bus so also by bus okay oh cool. my god there is a hen <laughs> yeah um is i think that's a uh, boy home it's morning <laughs> it's the morning hello the, the power my name is jang boy home jang that's me boy home jang Yes, that's me. Is that, do you have uh, animals in the background? Um. <laughs> are, they are they learning English with you? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. This first time I enjoy your class on Bubblings.com. My. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, I speak English not well. How to get more especially from everyone? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, welcome to Verbling. Um, what? Where are you from? Yeah, I'm uh, from Vietnam. From where? Vietnam. Vietnam. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Cool. Um, and what is your main mode of transportation? Like, how do you get around the city? Yeah, uh, I'm. Uh, do you, uh, do you walk? Do you drive a car? Do you take the bus? Like to get from your house to the grocery store or your house to work or your house to a friend's house, do you walk? Do you ride your bike? Do you drive? How yes. do you get it? You drive. Um, uh, most, um, my uh, motorbike and uh, bus. Mm, I um, I always uh, around um, from my house uh, 
to uh, school by uh, bus and uh, my bicycle. Okay, bicycle. Okay, cool. That's, That's really cool. That's a cuckoo. Okay. Yeah. A cuckoo, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, so Boris asked a question. So if you're saying that your main mode of transportation is is uh, by walking, you can say by foot. Instead of like by car, by foot, uh, by bicycle, by skateboard, by rollerblade. Yeah. Good question. Okay, cool. Uh, Carlos? Yes. Uh, my name is Carlos. <laughs> I am from Spain. And my main of transport is my skateboard. Skateboard. Okay, yeah. cool. Is it a longboard or a regular skateboard? Regular. I, I have, a long, I have a, long, a long one, but I don't use it for, for that. <laughs> for okay. Move, for move. For, yes. for getting around, for transfer. Yeah. yeah, getting around. Okay, cool, awesome. Um, all right, uh, Celso? Hello. 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 Uh, hi, my name is Celso. Uh, I'm from Brazil. And my mean of transportation is by car, or it's on foot, or by foot. On, yeah, on foot, by foot, same thing. Cool. Okay. All right. By foot and by bus. And by bus. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All right. Uh, Hank this Link. Cool yeah. <laughs> you hey. You have a bad noise. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a rooster or hen? I think it's a rooster. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I muted it though, so it should. Um, we shouldn't hear that again. Uh, Hank Ling, are you there? Yeah, it's me. Okay. So what are you guys talking about? I just got in. Uh, the, we're just introducing ourselves, so say your name, country, and your main mode of transportation. Um, I'm from China, but now I'm living in New York. Um, so my main mode of transportation is subway, and sometimes bus and taxi, so it depends. Oh, okay. Interesting. But when you were back in China, what was your main yeah. mode of transportation? Uh, I guess bus. Sometimes I walk. I walk a lot. Walk a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Interesting how that changed. Subway or foot to subway. Yeah. Because, uh. you know, New York is a huge city and so spread out. You can't just walk walk to yeah. that place you have to you know take subway and it's the cheapest you know transportation to take yeah. exactly yeah. yeah cool uh, Maria okay I'm Maria from Colombia and my main mode of transportation is by bus by bus yeah. okay and um, I also walk in bus by bus is the common is the common mode of transportation. Common mode of transportation. All right, cool. Uh, Micaela. Yeah. Um. Hi, I'm Micaela. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And the mode of transport that I like the most is to walk. Well, I mean, yeah, to go by um, by foot everywhere. But like because of Buenos Aires is too big, I also have, I need to use um. The train and also buses. Train and bus. And so when you say train, do you mean subway? Is it above ground? Is it like... Yeah, I mean both. But m mostly both. the one that is not under. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Okay, yeah, because we have something. We call it the... In Arizona, it's called um, the light rail. And it's not a train. Because a train, when I think of train, I think of like... like um, Taking a train from southern Italy to northern Italy, like a train that goes long distances, but oh, like subway. Yes, but I think that is is correct what Mika said because it's it not the same. Train? Yes, it's not the same um, that you are describing. Oh, okay, so, okay. So it's, light, it's a train. The light rail is like a tram. Yeah, I can show you a picture real quick, just of what I mean. Um, but yeah, okay, so Mikaela, you take the train mostly? Yes. 
Um, I so Phoenix Light Rail. So this is what I'm talking about. So we have this thing. It's called the Light Rail. It runs downtown. Um, and it's kind of like a subway above ground. Oh yes. It's no, like we a don't tram. have those. A tram. No, a tram. Yeah, a tram. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a tram. Yeah. Yeah. So we have that, and we have buses too. Um, yeah. But it's it's hard. I mean, like you only can do this if you live in Tempe or like downtown. Um, so like where I live, it's 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 about like ten fifteen minutes away. So I don't I don't use it very often. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Okay. Um, cool. Um, Boris, another question. If someone says my main mode of transportation is by bus, and another person says my main mode of transportation is by foot, can I say my main mode of transportation is by both? Yeah, by foot and by bus. You could say that. Good question. So, you know, my main mode of transportation is by foot, bus, and bike instead of bicycle. So you could say both. Uh -huh. Good question. Any other questions about the, the question that I was asking you guys? Transportation. No. Okay. Okay. Um, so, like I said... Today we're going to be speaking about our plans for the new year, um, for 2013. Um, so just to start off, did did you guys did anybody make goals for the new year? One question that rounds in my brain all the time. Okay. You can you can say 2013, 2010, 20. You could say 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013. Okay. You could say 2013, 2013. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's all. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yes, Miguel, my eye, my eye color does match my jacket. <laughs> I actually just noticed that. Now that you say that. <laughs> okay. Um, so did anybody make any goals for this year? So do you guys know what I mean by goals? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. So did anybody yeah. make any goals? I, I would like to improve my English. That's one of your goals. Good. It's a good goal. Does anybody else have any goals for this year? Yes. Yeah? Have success in my second year. In the teacher uh, training college. Hell Good. yeah, baby, you will. <laughs> yes, you. Pre I mean, I think you will be. Yeah, be successful. I mean, you'll be successful if you put your mind to it and if you focus. Yeah. Good. Anybody else have any goals? Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I Mika, want, Mika, you. Okay. Please. Thank you. I want to start a university this year. I really want to. Oh, okay. You want to start at university? Okay, that's yeah, a good ninja. idea. Yeah, ninja. <laughs> ninja have to study a lot this year, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I I actually that's one of my plans is uh to start to study at the University of Belgrano in Argentina. Yay! Bravo. <laughs> So that's one. That's one of my plans for 2013 is to go live in Argentina from July to December and study. Because I'm I'm learning Spanish just like you guys are learning English, and so I want to improve my Spanish. So you can came came to Spain. Cool. Yeah, it's it's cool. Yeah, I've been to Spain. I went to Spain actually over the summer, but um, now I, I want to go to South America and see yeah. Argentina. <laughs> okay, That's okay, let's cool. let's not start a Spanish fight in here. Spanish, Spanish, Spain. <laughs> Do you guys? So, what are your guys? So, the the main topic is just what what are, what plans, what goals, what plans do you guys have for this year? So, for example, just to name a few, I'm like I said, going to study in Argentina. I also plan to travel. I want to go to Chile. Um, Peru, uh, maybe Ecuador, uh, Bolivia. I want to travel. So, what are your, what are some of your guys' goals for this year? I want to have success in my studies. Uh. Um, mm, mm, uh. I don't know. Pass, pass this curse. This, this, 
this year. Uh huh. And that's became a, that's a good more point. confident. Yeah, become yeah, become more confident. That should be a good goal. Yeah, definitely. So how are you going to do that? I don't know. <laughs> you no. haven't figured that out yet. Maybe. Oh my God, the cuckoo again. <laughs> 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 okay, I think I, th <laughs> I think it went away. Um, okay, that's a good goal. Yeah, to become more confident, that's a really good goal. Uh, what about the rest of you guys? Wait, can I ask you something because this is important? Yes. Okay, er Ermil Ermilo say success or succeed. Success is the noun, and succeed succeed is an adjective. Um, success is the noun. Succeed is the An verb. Adjective. Like to no, it's a verb to succeed. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, yes. And the the adjective is successful. Uh, yes. Oh, I see. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. Good question. Um, okay. So, what are the rest of your guys' plans for 2013? Is it's anybody else? Germany. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say it again. I want to travel to to Germany. To Thank Germany. You. Yeah. Dude, good. That sounds like a lot of fun. I've never been. Um. So, are you saving up? I mean, like, are you getting ready, or is this just an idea? No. I mean, my grandma told me that she's gonna pay uh, my trip. I mean, she's amazing. Um. That's why. You I, I love money for you. <laughs> yeah, lucky. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. Lucky. You're very lucky. I wanna be uh, your cousin right now. So I can have <laughs> the same grandmother. <laughs> huh. That would be that would be really cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So Germany, any other plans for the year? Yeah. In in March I will travel to Paris. March you're going to Paris. What for? For fun? Sorry? Are you going uh, for fun? No, first thing. For study, yeah, to study ah, there. That's amazing. For that's a, really cool. A, you speak for French? two months. Two months. Yes, yeah, I speak. you French. You speak oh. French. Tu parles le français? Oui. Je parle oh, français. go go! <laughs> no, I, d I I know like a few sentences. I think oh, it's cool okay. though, like learning a few sentences. Like I can say like je ne parle pas le français. But like, other than that, I, I can't really say anything. But you that's cool. That, well. That's really cool. Thank you. I've I've perfected those one sentences, like or the two sentences that I know. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, that sounds like a really cool plan. So you're going to study French. I'm going to study Spanish. Is anybody planning to go uh, practice? Boris, you said you want to improve your English, right? Are you going to go? Do you have any plans to go to like England or the United States? Maybe this year I would like to go to Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. But, that but would be now, oh, I love. Yeah. But now I am, I am doing some. Uh, how how do you say? Oh, that's. You're getting like visa permits. Visas. Yeah. Oh, tramites. Process. Work tramites. Proce it's not Process. paperwork. It's some yes. Process or. The I, I am uh, applying for a, a process to, to go to Switzerland. Okay, so you could say you're in the process. I am in the process. Okay. Leave Good. the marijuana at home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, paperwork. Paper, yeah, paperwork's paperwork. Same thing. Good. Okay. Awesome. So you're going to go to Switzerland. Um, do you speak German? Or where are you going? What part of Switzerland? German speaking part, French speaking part. I think there's an Italian speaking part and an English speaking part. Or something like that. There are like four sections or <laughs> uh, four states. Something like that. Yes. What, Boris? What are you going? Are you going to practice your English there? 
Uh, no, but maybe I, I will go to, to take classes at the, the university in, oh. in Switzerland. But now I am practicing, improve my English. Oh, okay, that sounds like a good idea. I'm sure. Um, I'm. I imagine some. You can find classes that are taught in English. Yeah, I, 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 I found some some classes at the university. All, all classes are in English. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow, that's really cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, cool. What about you, I mean, what what are your plans for this year? plan is uh, if I get a chance to go to Korea to attend a championship of skate slalom skating. Uh, okay. A championship of what? Oh, skate, slalom skate. Sorry, hold on. It's a little bit hard to hear you. Uh, Boy Hong, I'm just going to mute you for a second. Uh, for skating. Oh yes. my god. Okay. Like, uh, like rollerblading? Yes, like skate, skate roller. Oh, roller skate. That's yeah. so cool. So you're going to try and compete in a championship in Korea. Yeah. Ooh. That's amazing. That's, that is amazing. That's really cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Hope. I mean, if you put enough time into it, I'm sure you could definitely do it. That would be so, yeah, I think so, so. cool. That would be such an awesome experience. Uh-huh. Cool. Anyone else? Uh, Maria, Jose, what about what are your plans? Okay, I have uh, three plans for this year. So, first of all, I have to find a job, a good job. Uh -huh. Secondly, uh, maybe I, I'm going to start my specialization on the second semester in, of this year. Um, um finally I want to improve my English. So good. Those, sound those like are really my good. three three goals. Yeah. Those sound like really good goals. Yeah, find a job. Um and then you said start your specialization. Um do you mean my, uh major? Uh like uh yeah major. Yeah, major. like a master? Master Oh master. Oh like like a yeah. master's degree. Yeah, master's degree, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe wow. in Brazil. Yeah. Oh, so. I heard their schools are really good. Yeah. That would be really cool. Then you, then you could learn Portuguese too, and then since yeah, you're studying I have English. To improve. Oh, you when I, I have <laughs> to learn Portuguese because I don't speak Portuguese at all, but yeah, maybe. Hey, well, I mean, you're, you've English thus far, so I'm sure you can yeah. learn Portuguese. I've heard it's really yeah. similar to Spanish. Uh, yeah, yeah. In the similar accent is very similar, so yeah. I hope that it, w it will be easy for me. Yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm going to learn Portuguese, too. Cool. Really cool. Okay. Um, oh. What about Hank Ling? Um, for... 2013 I'm gonna finish school um, and uh, I don't know maybe I'll take some pictures and make a photo album and you know find an internship and <laughs> I, I don't know I can do a lot you, actually but are I, you a photographer? I really, uh, sort of I but just for a hobby right now actually I'm uh, working for a media company that's just a part-time job. Like, I show some dance videos for them, and uh, like, I work three three days a week, um, and that's it. So, I don't know. That that's cool. Well, I, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe you could find an internship or something. Because if that's your hobby and um, you really love it, maybe you could find a job. Because I mean, you said you're in New York, right? Yeah. <laughs> Because I and I once you finish the I, I learn I'm learning something else like it's nothing to do with photography uh, it's teaching like what you're doing right now so um, oh I'm really what, sure. what are you what are you studying um, teaching English as a second language I <laughs> oh yeah that's cool. Uh, 
Yeah, because back then in Beijing, I because I'm from there, I stayed in Beijing for five years after graduation from college. I was a teacher、uh, for just one year, but、uh-huh. that was just something you know,、uh, not so serious. Like that—that that was not what I planned. But later, I just came here and. Keep doing that, and I don't know.、Um, I want to do something else because I learned media, like journalism, in college. So I I want to stick to it. So I still want to、sure、find、enough. a job in media, in TV, or you know, magazines or whatever. Yeah, well, well, I mean, you're in New York. That's like one of the second biggest places for media、yeah. in the United States. New York and LA. Yeah, but it's so hard. And so、uh, I think Boris has a question for you. What? So, I think okay. I think everybody's probably wondering how did you learn English so well. Um, I actually every student has to learn English in China. Like it's required. Uh, I maybe I just spend a lot of time on it. Like I don't know. Um, like in junior high school, we spent、uh-huh. like four or five years learning English every day. And we kept that like for years, six years, and then I went to college, and my major was English journalism. So it has something to do with English. So we have to like practice it every day, have to speak it every day. Now I'm here, I also have to say it. So I guess that's the reason. But I don't know. I just spend a lot of time on it, really. So. So you, how? You go. What? Oh, sorry. Keep going. Nothing. So what's your question? Oh yeah, no, that that was it. I mean,、um, I think everybody would probably agree that you, you're. I think it sounds like you don't really have an accent. Yeah, like some Chinese、true. people, when they have、yeah. when they speak English, they, you can tell their accent. But yours, like I would have said that you grew up speaking English, as in like your family,、um, like you lived in the United States. No,、like、my parents、like. don't speak English at all. They don't、What? speak it. <laughs> wow.、Um, and and this is my first time in in the United States, and I just, you know, I've been here for like four months, uh, and uh, maybe you guys, what you guys should do is like you have to like imitate those accents that you want to learn, and、uh, just I don't know why, but just go for it, just practice it, and you can have a good accent. Yeah, I would. That's really good advice. I would agree.、Um, yeah, I mean, like, whenever I'm trying to, I speak. I l- I've learned Spanish for like four or five years, but I don't really have a specific, like, a distinct accent. And since I'm going to Argentina, I'm trying to develop an Argentinian Argentinian accent.、Um, Spanish is、so, better. <clears throat> <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to, you know, pick that up. And like, what I do is when I pra- when I practice with somebody in Spanish, like when I talk with this friend I have that lives in Argentina,、um, I try and imitate the way he says things, and then you know that helps. So like, I think you're right. Exactly what you're saying. You have to try and imitate. I think that's why TV shows can help too, because if you watch、yeah. an American TV show,、yes. yeah. But the first thing is that you have to distinguish the differences between. The different accents, like you have to know what are the differences between them, so you will know、uh, what is American accent like, what is British accent like. So you will just choose one accent and stick to it, and don't you know change your accent too frequently because that will ruin your original accent and that will be bad for you. So, exactly.、Um, But just choose some something you like, and because、uh, I remember I did. A、uh, British accent for like one or two years, and that was really, really,、um, you know, counterproductive.、Um, I thought that was not helpful. So I like American accent. So that's what I'm saying.、Um, I guess that's、uh, a piece of advice for you. Yeah. Yeah. So can I say one thing? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I think. In our case, Spanish people、uh, can get better the American accent or the or the British accent than the British or the English the English community 
can get the Spanish accent or the um, Argentinian accent. Um, so that's all. I think. <laughs> no, yes, but um, English people, American and uh -huh. um, and British or Australian. I think they they have more um, more um, yeah. Facility or something like that? No, 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 no. Less, uh -huh. less facilities to okay. to get the accent because because of the R's, for example. Maybe I think yes. it's all a matter of uh, practicing. It depends on the person, but I think yes. It's easier. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Carlos, but no, let no. me. Okay, let me think. Let me see if I understand you. What you're saying is that Argentinian accent is more difficult than the Spanish. No, no, accent. no, 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 no. So I explained myself wrong. Um, I, th I think. For example, Joe, Joe, uh -huh. has uh, more difficulty. More. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, more to learn the accent. Yeah, more problems or more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More obstacles, you know, to to seem like a Spanish or a or Argentinian because of the R's ah, and, okay, some, yes. and yeah, some some letters for them are yes, difficult to pronounce. Yes, 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 yes. I I, yeah. I I know what you mean. Yes, and yeah. yes, I agree with you, Carlos. Uh, like like the rolling R. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, I I can't do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, try, I try because try yes. so hard, but I just can't. Maybe Me, maybe neither. They 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 maybe they can read this one this word, raton. This yeah, are raton is very difficult to read English people. Yeah, I mean this is the first the, the best part of Spanish. Uh, I love the sound, but I just can't do it. <laughs> so sad. Oh, try, it. <laughs> Joe. Joe, try it. Try to try to read this word. What do you want me to read? Raton. Try to read R raton. 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 Oh, it's so nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well. Thank you. That's well. Yeah. I mean, I want to do a class on like helping you guys improve your accents, like, so that you can sound more American. Because, um, I think, um, like for example, Hank Lee, Hank Ling, did you um, did you watch a lot of TV? Did you read a lot? Did you listen to a lot of? Uh, did you practice listening a lot, or like what did you do? Yeah, yeah, of course. I just like watching American TV series, like all kinds of TV series. You yes. just there are a lot of TV series that you can choose to watch. Uh, so uh -huh. just find something which you can understand and try to you know imitate those characters, those accents, and it will help. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Um, I'm, addicted. Was, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to Misfits. Yes, <laughs> you know this series. Uh, Misfits. No, I don't. It's no. British. I think it's uh, British. Oh, okay. It's not American. It might be. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I've watched so. a little bit of it, but I have yes. this impression. <laughs> it's a bit. Mm. Uh, but when you ch uh, but when you watch uh, American shows, um, you have to be sure that don't watch something which is too like like too sci-fi or something like that. Just choose something that really relaxing, like sitcoms, which is entertaining, yeah. and also yes. you can learn something from it. Um, that'll be good. Yeah, um, if you guys are looking to improve your accent and you're looking for a TV show, I did a class a while ago on TV shows, and we wrote the names of them. So I'm going to send you this document. We wrote the names. It's in the Verbling chat. So if you click on it, it shows a list of um, the names of TV shows and then a kind of a short description of like what they're about. So like these are all really good TV shows. Most of them aren't sci-fi, except like Walking Dead is about zombies. Um, it's kind of, mm -hmm. I mean, zombies aren't real, but I mean, you, you'd still learn a lot 
as far as improving your accent. Um, but like for example, everybody hates Chris. Two and a half men. Those shows, you know, it's all realistic. It's all based on like realistic events and stuff, mm -hmm. or you know, things that could actually happen. So I think what Hank Lee is trying to say is like those are probably going to help you the best or the most. Just call me Hank. <laughs> Hank. Okay, we'll go with Hank. <laughs> this sounds weird. Hank Link. <laughs> it does. Kind yeah. Of. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Um, I mean, I'm gonna try and do some more classes on focusing on accents, uh, so that that will help you guys a lot. I'm gonna try and do some of those next week. Um, but yeah, I think imitating, uh, trying to imitate people, native speakers, will help a lot with accents. Uh, you know, that could be a plan for this year. I mean, I I made a plan for for the languages that I'm learning, and uh, for Spanish. I want to speak Spanish fluently by the end of the year, so what that means is like I want to be able just to start a conversation and speak at the speed of a native speaker and just to have a conversation about anything. And for Portuguese, I want to speak well enough to have a conversation. So the steps that I'm, that I'm going to do this year to help me is I'm going to watch one episode of a TV show for Spanish per week and then one episode of a Portuguese television, uh, TV series per week. Oh, you 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 will study Portuguese. Yes. Oh, I can. Well, I speak a language too similar to the Portuguese, very similar. Uh, is it called Gallego? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, what were we gonna say, Brenda? Brenda. Uh, yes. Sorry. Question: uh, Am I doing a bike back background sound? Uh, no. You're breathing too close no. to the microphone. No, because I ha no. Okay. I, I don't hear nothing. Okay, Not wait, 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 wait. Let's try. Let's try. Silence, real quick. I don't know who it's coming from. I can hear it, but it like usually it shows a green bar to show who it's coming from, but I don't know. Okay, sorry. Uh, I just want to say that in in Argentina, uh, two years ago, three years ago, came uh, an American. An American. He works here, and he's really famous right now. He's making really famous on Facebook because he imitates Argentinian accent. Oh, uh, I, I know, know him, Michaela. If you heard hey. about Dustin Luke, yeah, yes. he's amazing. And Yes, he's amazing. He's he knows all the Argentinian slang, and he he, he doesn't have any accent. Well, What's he has his the name? Argentinian accent. Dustin, look, you can find it on YouTube or on Facebook on, or on Twitter. Of course, sl slang slang refers refers to like words that aren't that you might not find in the dictionary. Um, so they're yeah, like. like Yes. Words that, that people make up. Yeah. So, yes, that didn't look Michaela, yes. <laughs> He's really funny. Yes, he is. <laughs> but cool. For how, many, for how many years have you been studying Spanish? Um, like, for me, I like, in the United States, usually with languages, um, like, most people don't start until high school. I started the year before high school, so this is my sixth year studying, because I'm in college now. Um, but like it's different like Hank was saying that in China they start um, English when they're very young and I know that in Spain you guys start with English very young but yeah. like in the United States we don't focus as much on other languages which I wish we did that's what I want to kind of mm -hmm. I want I'd like to try and change that like that idea if, if possible when I become a teacher um, but that's why I think I think languages are really important um, yeah. Right. but yeah what what um I know we've kind of gotten off topic, but trying to go back a little bit, what other plans um, do you guys have for this year? Like maybe English, like related to English, what are you guys' plans for 2013? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to keep improving my English. Improving? Yes. Yeah, of course. Do you guys have any like goals, like? Like for example, I mean, I guess improving is kind of general. 
Like, do yeah. you have any goals, like, um... How to improve that. <laughs> yeah. Like, steps, maybe, um, or plants. Okay, last year I took the the first exam. Um, well, I have... Um, I still don't know the, the score that I got, but... Yeah, I uh -huh. want to keep on taking those exams. I think it's very useful. Uh... Yeah, that's definitely that's a good plan. Making the most of everything. Make the most of everything. Yeah. So, don't just spend the time. And just, just do things I I like. Like being more productive. Yes. Yeah. And enjoy myself more. I think. Good, yeah, good. Um, yeah, any any other plans? Um, let's see, Hank. You said that uh, you're gonna you want to you're gonna graduate soon, right? Do you uh, have any yeah. plans for English? You can do you um, consider yourself fluent? I still have a long way to go. Um, I'm still learning it. Like um, slang is a really difficult for me. Um, and idioms, you know, um, uh -huh. because I don't know how to learn them. Like, I have to watch as many TV series as I can, and they, you know, use them in those oral, you know, communication, and that might be helpful. And I've been reading a lot of uh, English novels and watching movies and stuff like that. So... Just keep maybe, doing that. Maybe. Yeah, maybe what you could do is, uh, like for idioms and slang, mm -hmm. uh, if you felt comfortable, you're studying at the university, but you live in an apartment, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. A good thing to do would be if you could somehow get, like, American roommates. Because, I have one. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's actually okay. a Russian American, but she's a total New Yorker. She's been here for like most of her life. She moved here from Russia when she was two, I guess. So we have oh, wow. this kind of we have this kind of loft apartment. She lives upstairs, and I live, you know, downstairs. Huh. Um. Okay. Save a lot. Okay. Because I'm thinking, like, the more younger people you surround yourself with, the more. Yeah. Uh, the better chance you'll have to learn slang. Yeah. Try to meet more people and talk to them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, like, what I might try and do, I'm not sure. Like, when I go to Argentina, I'm probably not going to live what what they're called as host families. But, like, if you can surround yourself with more natives, then you're going to obviously learn a lot more slang. Because, I mean, reading books and watching TV series, I mean, there's so many out there. Um, especially idioms too. Yeah, it's very um, practice with people from the country. Which books yeah. have you written in Spanish? Have I read in Spanish? I don't read very much in Spanish, but <laughs> I've read The Chronicles of Narnia, El Alchemista, uh, oh, wow, Los right. Los Arboles. Like Why didn't they pee? I liked I liked um, El Alchemista. That was a good book. Yeah. Um, okay. Joe, how do you call those books in English? Uh, which books? Uh, the ones that help you in a way. I mean, they're called autoajuda in in Spanish. I don't know like in English. How to help um, or something like that. Uh, can, wait, can you write the word? I'm not sure. Okay. El alquimista. It's like the. It's in English. It's the alchemist. alchemist. It's a really good book. Yeah. It would be good for you guys since you're learning English because um, it's really interesting and it's not super yeah. difficult uh, language. Cohelo? No, uh, she's not saying that. <laughs> okay. She's saying oh. how, how do you call it in English? Auto well, Ashuda. I'm yes. not sure. Um, okay, like, maybe you Google <laughs> yourself. Oh, yeah. like self self help maybe. Oh, okay. 
Self help, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Google says that too. Okay. Self help, yeah. What is the class about? What's the issue? I didn't get it right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, see, right now we're talk. We're well, we've gotten off track a little bit, but what we were talking about. Uh, we were just saying just how predictable. <laughs> we were talking about uh, plans for 2013. So what are you, what are your plans for 2013 for this year? And uh, what not related to the books you are talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are not related. No, the books we were talking about that was just we were just talking about like improving languages and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Well, actually, I'm I'm planning to go to Sweden this year. Sweden? Oh, how come? Uh, my father, my dad is there, and I want to follow him. I'm trying to get the visa right now. That's awesome. That sounds like that sounds like a really cool plan. Um, cool. Do you have any other plans? Like, what about related to English? Any plans? Yeah, of course. Maybe after two months, I will get TOEFL. Get TOEFL. That's yeah. a good idea. So, what do you guys? So, I've heard that a lot of you want to get the TOEFL. What do you guys plan to do with the TOEFL? Is that just so? You, that's so you can teach English in your country, right? Yeah. I am planning to, to okay. get the IELTS. The IELTS. Do you know what? That's is a different IELTS? exam, right? Yes, it's an exam. Uh, That's not for teaching. It's just for like uh, recognition of. You can't teach with it. It's valid for you two can? years. So you yeah. want to teach? You have to pass the test. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know that. Boris, what what is the? Can you explain a little bit about the IELTS? Yeah, the IELTS is an exam for uh, if you want to go to, to study in another country. Uh, uh, you you need to to prove your your level of English. The IELTS is for it. So, okay. Uh, it's an international uh, exam designed designed to to assess the the, the ability of the language I for for candidates who, who need to study or work where English is is the the main language. Joe, you don't know <coughs> Ireland? It's similar to TOEFL, but it's Britain, not American. Okay, okay, it's British. Okay, the IELTS. Yeah, I've heard of it. IELTS is for Britain or Australia, you know, those British related countries. If you want to go to study abroad in Britain or Australia, you just take IELTS exam. And if you want to go to uh, like America or Canada, you have to pass TOEFL. Wait, so if you want to study abroad, like, because when I, uh, this past semester, I met people from Chile, uh, Brazil, China, Japan, Korea. Yes. So you're saying that if you, have to, if you want to study in an American university, you yes. have to pass the TOEFL? Yes, you oh. have to. That's the most. Wow, I did, I, did not, I did not know that. Wow, okay. Yeah, if you, ha if you want to go, like, uh, study masters or uh, doctors, you have to, like, Pass GRE as well. You have to like take the GRE test and get the score. So that's really hard. But those are two kinds of you know examinations. Uh -huh. yeah. So who who has a um, the GRE test course? That's for graduate school. Yeah, for graduate school. So you have university, which is undergraduate, then graduate. So that's like when you get your master's degree. Yeah. Good. Cool. Um, so does who who is planning this year to take the TOEFL? To take the the TOEFL to to take the TOEFL. Did Mar Maria? Were you what saying that you were going to take the TOEFL? I don't know what's the what TOEFL. No. The, what's it called? Isn't it the TOEFL? Can you write no. it? Can you write it? You the, the, the one that Yasin was just talking about. TOEFL, what's that? What's your name? TOEFL. Okay, wait, what? 
Which one were you guys just talking about? Isn't that the one that you just said? Hank, which one did you just say that you need to get into the United States? Oh, to I study? said. Uh, what you what you wrote? Uh, TOEFL. Oh, TOEFL. Okay. oh wait, I wrote yeah, it wrong. TOEFL. I wrote it wrong. It's an exam for for. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's like. It's like teaching. A, a test. No, it's test of English. Yes. As foreign language. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Test of okay. Test oh, of okay, that's a foreign language. Yeah, that's it. Here in Spain and in Europe, we have the first certificate, and the uh, and the uh, advanced that uh, qualifies the the person to a high level of English. So when you when you want to get a job, you present the the yes the certificate the diploma you know. Uh huh. So that that is all that that is the 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 test we have in Spain. We haven't this this shuffle. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> I've heard that in some places you need it. Like if you want to go, like if an American wanted to go to another country and teach English. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure though. But yeah. Um, so is anybody planning, so is anybody planning to take uh, an exam like the ISILs or or the TOEFL or, or any exam related to English this year? Does anybody have a plan to do that? I have some final exams. You have no, final I exams? Don't know, I don't know if that counts. Is that for the university? Yes. Ah, okay. And are you taking English at the university? Yes, I'm in the teaching training college. I want to be an English teacher, so I have to do Ninja my final English. exam. In ah, okay. February and March. And it's going to be difficult because I have at least I have finals to do. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Yes. And so then, what's what happens after that? Um, like after you take your exams in February, do you start teaching English? Yeah. No, no, no. It's not like that because it's like you have midterms and you have to uh -huh. pass your midterms to access to the final exam. It's not that easy, and that is. My, this is this was my first year, so I'm going to start my second year. But I have to do, I have to pass uh, the final exam. I have two years to pass all of them, so oh, I have time. Okay. But the problem is that if I don't pass right now some of them, I'm uh -huh. going to have to do this exam the first of the fear of sorry of the first year. But I also if I pass. The second year, I have to do. I have to do the second year's final exams too. So. Oh, I have to okay. Hurry up that's a lot. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But that's this is how it, it works here. So. Uh -huh. yeah. That sounds frustrating. <laughs> One question. Yeah. There. It in sucks. In there, there is no, another word for that. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, but you have to. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any choice. Ah. <sighs> What you said, Mika? I think that is the same way everywhere. You have um, midterm exams and also finals. Yes, yeah. but the, the, I sorry to interrupt you, Mika. But no. some people take some subject for uh, semesters. Yeah. Okay. So when I'm in studying, I have to pass the 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 midterm to access the final exam. If I don't pass the midterm, I have to wait one year to do the same subject. That's oh it, oh wait. Oh my God. Yes, oh. this is not over. So wait, this wow. is not over. If I don't pass all the English subject because I have a subject in Spanish also, but if I don't pass oh. any uh, all of all my English subject, I have to finish to do all of them to access to the next year. 
So this is how it works here. You so have to wait like half a year. Yes. That's 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 oh. why I always said it's not it's not easy to become an English teacher in my country. You have to oh study a lot and this you have to fair. work so hard. Yes. It's horrible. Oh. But this is how it works. And it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that come, does suck. <laughs> come to the United States. Come here. <laughs> so I have a question for you, Joe. In the United States, because I want to study psychology, and um, before, okay, sorry, and after, and after, I want to to be an actor. To become an actor. You want to be a what? To become an, an actor. actor. Yeah. So. See. So I. I wish to study to study in America uh, a, the actor uh, in great or I don't know what what is in, in in the United States, but there there's academies or or there's a grade or what is what is uh, the theater career or um, grade? So the way yeah so. If you want to be an actor or an actress, then I would say, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter what you study in the university. I mean, if you want to study uh, psychology, then yeah, study psychology because psychology is really interesting. If you want to be an actor, then there are like acting academies. I mean, it's like acting is really hard. Um, like one of my best friend wants to be an actor and he's really good, but usually what you want to do is start what with what we call independent films so I don't know of any websites for independent films otherwise I would uh, tell you them but that's what you'd want to start out with is like independent films say like hey I'm from Spain um, I'd really like to I speak English well I'd really like to be an actor um, and then find short films or like independent films and then you get big that way and then um, then that's when you can get into like bigger movies like Hollywood and stuff like that. It's still really difficult though. I mean, there are so many people out there that want to do it. But as far as studying psychology at a, an American university, yeah, there are institutes where you could do it. Like for example, my university, you right. could do it. What it, what it's called is uh, we do things that are called exchanges. Oh yes. Uh, so in exchanges where like for example you come to my university and then we send a student to your university in Spain so that you guys are exchanging and then um, what it's called like studying abroad basically so you would be studying abroad in the United States um, so yeah it just it just depends um, I mean I would look into it like go to like if you want to look at my university specifically all of the airs, all of the universities in the United States are expensive um, yeah, like I, I, I don't know how much money you have to spend on on studying, but like if you want to go to like, like a, if you want to go to a college, like a really big university where there are a lot of students, you know, you would look for like a really big university, like the University of Arizona is like forty thousand students, but if your whole point is just to study in the United States and you don't need to study at a big university, what you could do is study at what's called a community college. They are way, way, way cheaper. Um, so like there's one that's kind of by my house it's called Paradise Valley Community and I have some friends who study here because it's way cheaper um, Paradise Valley Community College so you could study at one of those and the only the only difference is at, at a university like mine there are dorms which are what you can live in for students yeah. like international students too but mm -hmm. with a community college they don't have that so um, it's not going to be like the whole experience like you miss out on the dorm experience um, Mm. But it just depends. Yeah. So if I can, if I can ask, how much it costs? It costs your yeah, your of course. So um, my university, all all universities, public, private in the United States, are really expensive. Um, like the four year universities, uh, a uh, like my university for somebody like you who who would pay out of state because we have out of state and in state. So if you live in my state you get yeah. this cost. If you live out of state, you get the other cost. So for you, it would probably be around 30, um, this is an estimate, I always um, mix it up, but it's about $32,000 a year. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, so, there's no free 
university in your country? No, uh, like free online stuff, but there's no like free public or private universities that I know of. Most of them, like all of the ones that my friends study at, like all the ones that the majority of people study at, you have to pay money. It's super, yeah. but I'm on a scholarship, so it's a lot cheaper. You're a millionaire or something Bravo. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, it's just from grades. I just did well in high school, and um, so my tuition is being covered. So tuition is the cost of your classes. So my tuition is being covered, but I have to pay for my living expenses. So like my dorm and my food, I have to pay for. My parents yeah. help me pay for. But yeah, but um, uh, if you. Oh. What's you want to talk to me more about that? Oh. Um, questions about like studying in the United States. Um, you can talk to me on my Facebook page because I have to end this class right now because it's going over. Um, but thank okay. you guys for coming. I really enjoyed this conversation. It was really interesting, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, so I hope you guys have a good weekend, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah, Joe. Take care. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thank you. Good night. See you, Joe. Thank you.